Hello and welcome to my short tutorial on how to set up the Robot Money Live Monitor together with the Zoom Zoom Robot Money extension. So, in case you don't know, this monitor allows crashed Zoom Zoom instances or Robot Money instances to be automatically detected and be restarted so that in case you are not on the PC and the emulator crashes, then that this monitor program will by itself restart this emulator so you don't have to do anything in order to fix your broken auto sender. So let's dive into it. At first you need to visit this URL here and download the monitor file. So the monitor is an executable file. The source code for this can be watched here for anyone who knows Go. Um, you can read the source code and yeah, the resulting executable file was built by GitHub here. So under workflows, one can see how it is compiled. And the result is this monitor exe file. So yeah, you had to click on release and then open this menu here under assets. And then you can download monitor exe by just clicking on it. So, okay, I already did this before and now here, um, we can click on this little folder icon. So the Explorer opens here in my downloads folder of this user here, and we have this monitor X file here. So what to do with it? Um, and go back here in the browser and watch the README. It has a very brief description on what to do. So basic usage to set the monitor, open the command line interface where monitor X is located and enter this. So and depending on the command line interface, you either have to copy this or that part here. And here's a short description what the different parameters mean. I, for the brief of being fast, will just show you how to make it work on my machine and then you can adapt the parameters to your needs. So. I do a right click here somewhere and then I have open in terminal. So this one opens here. I close the Explorer window here in the background and you can see I use a Windows PowerShell. So I have to copy this command here with PowerShell. I, I can mark it here with the mouse, but I can also just click this little icon here and this will copy the complete line into the Windows clipboard. Then here with the right click, automatic pastes this line here and then I have to to adapt the settings a little bit. So on the one hand this one here is definitely wrong for my computer. So I will already close this one here because I need in the background these icons here. So this VM here is started by this shortcut here and when I do a right click and click properties then I see here in tan target what the concrete command is to start this VM. This should also work for Nox. This is LD player five and here it is uh, like this. And I don't know why they call it 4.0, but it is version five. Um, okay, so I clear this here with backspace, tip, 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 then do a right click after I had copied the target here from the shortcut. And so the process parameter is now fine. Then I also need to change the title. I have multiple ND players. So what I want is to monitor this one. And I just copy this text here and paste it here. So when I, yeah, I can't see it, that's sad, um, but it's fine. Okay, so yeah, I will close that one here just to show what happens when I execute this command. So here I have start monitor Excel with the parameter port one, two, three, four, five, uh, start the process, la 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 la, the end player, that's the one that LD player starts and that index equals to my guest VM and debug true to show a little bit more output. 
So I press enter and now the Windows firewall kicks in. It's only at the first start. Um, the whole thing works uh, by doing network requests between the VM and this process. So you have to allow it in order to make it work. If you don't allow it, then this whole monitor setup won't work on your machine. Okay, now we see here server started on port one, two, three, four, five. What does it mean? Well, we now can, when we open a new browser, can write something like localhost. That is always, and on every system, the host name of the local machine. So I should type it in the correct spelling and then one, two, three, four, five. And when I press enter, I see here a little OK. So this OK indicates that the server is indeed reachable from the browser, that the firewall doesn't block traffic. So the basic setup is fine. I can close this again. And here I also can see that I opened this with a browser. Browsers tend to do two requests. I don't differentiate with them. I also only write get, but um, th that's not relevant for the, for the following parts. Okay, so now that this works, I press Ctrl and C to, to cancel this process here and then type ipconfig because I need the IP address of this machine in my local network um, because localhost works fine here, but it won't work if I type localhost here. So when I open Chrome and I type localhost, blah, 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 then that will yeah, try to reach something inside of this virtual machine, but not things that are running here. So here I see I have a Fritz box as a router and my IP address is this one. So I copy this by hovering with the mouse, marking it and right clicking it. Now it's in the Windows clipboard. Then I press the cursor up button twice. So I get the command which I used when I start the monitor. Now I yeah, execute it again. And in contrast to the first start, it now detects that I have a window named this one here, which already has is started because it has a title guest intel. So that's what here in the shortcut was hidden or here in the multiplayer LD setup. So by yeah, by by passing here the correct window name, the script can detect if and the virtual machine is already started and then use the existing machine instead of starting a new one. So that's usually a cool thing and something you usually want. So in case you have to stop and restart this monitor process, so you don't have to restart the whole virtual machine or your Tsum Tsum game. Okay, but now we have uh, this IP address and we have again started the monitor then we can try, ah, text you copied, yes, we can try to reach it here. Uh, okay, it's not working like this, but with Control V, I can paste it and then with colon one, two, three, four, five, I should be able to get it. Yes, I do. Yeah, here it is. This is the simple OK message. It's all that this monitor answers. And we can here see that we received this get request. Again, browsers do this twice. Don't bother with it. Uh, when I click here again, oops, I don't want to remove it. I just wanted to call this again. So we have again here two new entries. That's working. So what I do now is I click here, I see this successful URL, and then I click the copy icon. Link copied. All right, now I open the robot one. I started some beta script. I'm fully aware that the service is not running. That's not too important at the moment. Um, when, I, when I started the script, I need to ensure that I have at least version 68 installed. If I have a newer, uh, and an older version, then uh, this field here won't be there. And this is 
this is absolutely crucial to, to make this monitor work with the script. So you need at least version 68, newer versions are also fine, but you need to enter the URL that we just copied from the Chrome browser into this text field. And you can do this again by pressing Ctrl and V. And yeah, then just click somewhere else. And now it is part of your settings. All right. Now we can, or we should better, stop this monitor script again so that it does nothing. And we can also close this robot mon and then we will do a restart. And why do we do this restart? Well, because what we now have done is that the monitor script gets data from the Tsum robot mon script, but when it does a restart of this virtual machine, yeah, well, then this would happen, what we now see. We will land on this start screen and nothing happens anymore. And that won't be helpful for us. So in order to fix that, we will create a startup script that will do all the things that we usually do manually. And we can do this by using this operation recorder in LD Player, and I'm sure Nox also has something like a operation recorder, maybe macro recorder, but it's in general the same thing. So we click on it, and then we have this button start recording. And now it's just easy. We always do a little wait times in case of, of some delays while starting here with different apps or so. Oh, okay, that was wrong. Okay, let's, let's do that again. I clicked stop. You can stop it right here in the title. And trash. And again, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Now let's stop it. Okay, I think now it's all stopped. Good. Um, again, start recording, and we usually start with starting the robot on service. That's the first thing we do. Okay, then we go back to the home screen, start robot mode itself. See here the service on. Then, yeah, we wait always a short period, just in case that the startup is delayed this time. And Depending on your settings, if you have auto start activated, then you can just already press the play button and stop the operation recording. Because depending on your setup, the Tsum Tsum script might be able to completely start your, uh, your LD player and Tsum Tsum setup automatically. So we can see here, it's a default startup, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and there we are. It automatically switched the rankings page, which usually is the default page. And here we can see the dogs receive Griff one by one. It would do so, but this guest account doesn't have any mates. And, and that's it. And now when we start the, the monitor again, and then here we can see some monitor and there is nothing behind uh, the statement to see. That means that the script tried to reach the Zoom monitor, something it only tries when you enter an URL into the settings, but it didn't succeed. Usually the monitor answers with OK, and then you will see where this OK too. OK, here you can see Zoom monitor get, here was a get statement called, and 
Okay, we can see the get. So that's what we usually want to see. Well, almost. Usually we also want to see the OK, I think, but I'm not so sure at the moment. Well, at least when we see here the received get statements, and we only see them if we have this debug true flag here, then your setup is complete. And then there's only one thing you still have to do, and that is go to the recorded script. You can change the name or you can leave it like this. Click on this wheel here, on the settings wheel, and click execute script when LD player starts. Save it. And that's all you need to do. Now you can close it. I will once again stop this monitor here. I will stop the robotmon script. And I will completely shut down the LD player instance at this time. And now I will start it again and let's see what happens. Okay, it's already writing here, executing one times. Yeah, so things I did manually before are now performed by this operations recorder automatically, and it will do it on every startup. So, in general, you now don't need to do any manual clicks or something like this to to get to the Tsum Tsum game with the started auto sender. Okay, now that was a play click and let's see if it also starts. Yeah, here we are. Now it's starting the Tsum Tsum game and yeah, that's it. In case it will crash, so around 10 minutes, after the crash, the monitor will detect that it doesn't get any HTTP request anymore and then just kill the process here so it will be completely shut down and start a new instance which, thanks to this operations recorder, will then start automatically again um, the Tsum Tsum game and the sender and then it will be back. So you won't have a longer downtime even if you're not at the computer. Okay, I hope this will help you. Um, yeah, in case, or if you have any questions, feel free to comment. If you like it, feel free to like this video. If you have a better idea how to, to present this stuff, I happily grant you the permission to create your own video or to use this video and, and change things about it so it's completely free uh, for use. So, yeah, I just hope that it will help you with your setup. All right, that's it. Have a nice day and good luck.